In this video, I'll cover how to connect the GLR series light curtains to a GC1000 or GC1000R controller via GC Link connection. The topics I'll cover in the video include what is GC Link, how to connect the GLR series light curtains via GC Link, how to set up the GLR series light curtains in the GC Configurator software, and useful features provided because of GC Link and how to use them. GC Link Connection is Keyence's proprietary method of connecting Keyence safety devices, such as the GLR series light curtains, to the GC1000 via quick disconnect cables, completely eliminating wiring between the two devices and communicating more data, such as the beam by beam alignment. To connect the GLR series light curtains to the GC1000 or GC1000R via GC Link, you'll need some specific cables. The GLR CG03S connects to the GC-Link port on top of the GC-1000 and terminates in two separate M12 8-pin connectors. Cable part number GLR PC03PS connects to the curtains via proprietary connectors on the bottom of the curtain. With the current configuration, you can connect the GLR PC03PS to the GLR CGO3S, or you can use part number GLR CC7S to extend the cable link between the curtain and the controller. Here's a quick video showing the installation of the cables between the GC and the GLR. We'll start with the GC, on the top of which we'll find two GC link ports. Next we have our GLR CG03S, which we'll plug into one of those GC link ports. Notice how this cable ends in two M12 8 pin connectors. One is for the receiver, one is for the transmitter. That transmitter end is labeled clearly with the tag. Next, we have our curtains. And then I'll bring out the GLR PC03PS, the cables that plug into the curtain. Make sure you connect these to the bottom of the curtain. You can identify the bottom by the blue or the red sticker. This is the bottom side of it. Next, we need to connect the GLR PC03PS to the GLR CG03S. Pay attention that you're connecting the transmitter side of the GC Link cable to the transmitter. Once you connect both, you are good to go. If you need to extend the cable length, you can use the GLR CC7S. Next, we'll use the GC Configurator software to tell the GC that the GLR is connected and that it's via GC Link. I'll open a new configuration file, and once I get to the configuration part of the software, I'll double click on the GLR series input device. Feel free to rename it to whatever works best for you. And then we'll check that the connection type is listed as GC Link, which should be the default. All I need to do from here is to tell the GC which port the GLR light curtain is connected to. Port A and Port B are labeled on the top of the unit. I'm using Port A here. This is all you should have to do to set up the GC Link connection in the software. I'll go ahead and make a sample program and then transfer it over to the GC1000. For the last part of this video, I'll list a number of useful features that GC Link makes available. Starting on the screen of the GC1000 or GC1000R, press the unit button and then select the GC Link port that the curtains are currently connected to. So I'll go down to port A here. Clicking on the detail button lets you look at the beam by beam alignment. Especially during installation, this is a really helpful tool. 
Looking at the software, we can also view this remotely via USB or Ethernet cable. Click on the Unit Monitor button to view the beam-by-beam -beam alignment of the curtains connected to port A or port B. If we exit out and look at the detailed settings of the GLR input device, we can enable a received light intensity decrease alert. Once we enable this, we can use a screen of the GC to set up a threshold where if the light intensity drops below this threshold, a secondary non-safety output will trigger in the GC software now, letting you know you need to check your alignment or it's about time to clean off your curtains.